Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn about chapter 6 which is about parity conditions and forecasting techniques. For a parity condition, we have some sort of calculations and a forecasting techniques, we have theory parts. Yeah? So what is actually a parity conditions? Parity conditions exist when the same or equivalent things can be transacted at the same price across different places which means it's making riskless profit to the arbitrages. Parity conditions also called as a law of one price. Okay, for a parity conditions, we have five parity conditions that result from these arbitrage activities. Okay, we have a purchasing power parity, the Fisher effect, the international Fisher effect, the interest rate parity, and the unbiased forward rate. I like to draw, when we talk about five parity condition, I always like to draw, draw in a triangle shape for you to remember these things. I'm sorry, my triangle is not so sharp. Okay, uh, this represents the purchasing power parity. Okay, this represents for a Fisher's effect. And we have a vertical line here that represent for international Fisher's effect. And this one for interest rate parity or IRP. And last one is UFR. Okay, this one for you all. What is PPP? Purchasing power parity. Okay, and this line is we always refer to E1 or EO. EO or E1. Okay, that represent for a EO for a spot rate, E1 for a, a future rate, and this one is a inflation. Inflation rate. Okay, we call as a I. Yeah, I stand for inflation, not interest rate. And the bottom part is R. Use R. R stand for interest rate. And this one stand for F, which is for forward rate. Now, uh, when we talk about what is actually a purchasing power parity, it's easy for you when you refer to my diamond shape. Yeah, um, it's easy for you to elaborate what is purchasing power parity. Uh, means what happened to our currency in the future, which means E1. Yeah, what happened to our currency performance in the future when uh, when we refer to a purchasing power parity means the factor that affect our currency value in the future is the uh, inflation. There is a negative, there is a negative relationship. Yeah, there is a negative relationship in between future rate. Means when the inflation rate high, yeah, when the inflation rate high. So, what happened to our inflation? Uh, sorry, when the inflation rate high, our currency value will drop. Yeah, means that is a negative relationship. Okay. When we refer to Fisher's effect, yeah, there is a relationship in between inflation rate and and also the interest rate. Yeah, means when there is a positive relationship, yeah, there is a positive relationship in between the inflation rate and the interest rate. Means when the inflation rate high. The interest rate also high. Okay, so we go to the inflation. Sorry, international Fisher's effect. International Fisher's effect. Yeah, um, there is a relationship that is a combination in between purchasing power parity and the Fisher's effect. That's why there is a vertical line in between the PPP and also FE means when we talk about international Fisher's effect, yeah, it's a combination in between PPP and FE. Means when the inflation rate high, our currency value will drop. 
means when the inflation rate high, the interest rate also high, and the currency value will drop. Yeah, that is combination in between PPP and also FA. Okay, now we go to the interest rate parity. Interest rate parity here. Okay, interest rate parity. Interest rate parity is all about the forward rate and also the interest rates. Okay, means when the interest rate high, yeah, when the interest rate high, our inflation, our um, our forward rate will drop. Will drop. There is a negative relationship. Negative relationship. Okay, there is a negative relationship in between a forward and also the interest rate. There, uh, when we talk about the interest rate parity, nothing to do with the inflation rate. Okay, when we talk about purchasing power parity, there is a nothing related with the interest rate. Yeah, our currency value will only influence by the inflation rate when we refer to PPP. But when you refer to interest interest rate parity, your forward rate, our currency value in the future will only depending on the interest rate, nothing to do with the inflation rate. But when you refer to international official supply, our currency value in future will depend on the two items, which is the inflation and also the interest rate. Okay, this one is uh, the formula that you need to apply when you relate with the purchasing power parity. Normally, the question will ask you about what happened to the currency value in the future means you need to find the value which means you need to find the e1 value in the future when we talk about purchasing power parity remember my diamond shape so it's related with the i factor which is the inflation rate so this is the first formula for a purchasing power parity yeah, the first formula for a purchasing power parity so you need to find the e1 e1 equivalent to EO 1 plus I HC HC means for a uh, home currency divide with 1 plus inflation for a foreign currency so means you need to identify which one is your home currency and which one is your foreign currency okay and the second uh, formula is if uh, sometimes the question will give you uh, the percentage of appreciation or the percentage of depreciation on that particular currency, okay, you can apply this formula. Means E1 equal to EO1 minus or plus the percentage of appreciation or depreciation, okay. You may use 1 minus percentage or 1 minus, sorry, 1 minus percentage or 1 plus percentage. When you need to, to minus the percentage when the currency is strengthened. Okay, when you need to use the plus when the currency is weakened. When the currency itself, you can. For example, uh, when the question gives you what happened to RM today, means the RM value for today is EO is 3 ringgit. In future, uh, the market is expect the RM will increase or will strengthen by 2%. So, means 3 you times with 1 minus 3%. If the question give you when the ringgit Malaysia will depreciate by 3%, so means 3 times 1 plus 3%. Okay, a plus 3%. Kalau dia weaken, then you need to plus. Kalau dia strengthen, you need to minus. Okay, alright. This is the formula for a purchasing power parity for you to find the E1 if the information gives you the inflation rate. And the inflation rate for in home currency and inflation rate for a foreign currency. And this one you may use when the um, when the question give you the information about the depreciation percentage or the appreciation. Okay, remember about my Fisher supply and diamond shape. Okay, uh, when you draw about the uh, when you draw the fish, uh, diamond shape, Fisher supply is here. 
So means there is a relationship in between the inflation and also the interest rates. So basically the formula for the efficiency effect is only about this one. R equivalent to A1 A plus I. So what is R? R is nominal interest rate. Nominal interest rate. Yeah. What is A? A is a required rate of return. Required rate. Yeah. And what is I? I is inflation. Inflation rate. Okay, so means when someone asks you what is nominal interest rate, nominal interest rate is a rate that inclusive the inflation rate. Okay, this is all about the Fisher's effect. Okay, for the international Fisher's effect, for you to find the E1, it seems like when you want to find um, the PPP E1. Yeah, because when you draw your diamond shape, the IFE, it's in in the vertical line in between the PPP and also the FE. So for you to find the E1, same uh, you practice in the PPP, uh, how you want to E1, EO, 1 plus IHC divided with 1 plus IFC. Okay. So under IFE, you need to come out with decision. Decision decision where you want to borrow and where you want to invest borrow and invest okay you definitely will borrow at the interest rate that give you a cheaper rate and invest at high interest rate okay so the formula that you can use to make a decision for international fisher effect is one plus rhc equivalent to e 1 divided with EO, 1 plus RFC. Okay, so on your left side here, on your left side is something that relate with the home country and on your right side is something that relate with the foreign country. So means if your right side is bigger than your, uh, sorry, if your left side is bigger than your right side, so better you invest home country and here you borrow foreign currency country or vice versa okay or vice versa okay invest foreign and here you borrow okay for interest rate parity yeah, if you draw a diamond, you remember it's in between the relationship in between um, the forward rate and also the interest rate. So first thing foremost, you need to find the forward rate. Okay, you may use the same like PPP, which is, but this one is something that relate, uh, okay, same one, yeah. So means when the when the currency is weakened, then you plus, when the currency is strengthened, then you Minus, but in the IRP, you need to come up with the step. Step first step, you need to prove the CIA exists or not. Okay, CIA exists or not. So the formula is F1 minus EO divided with the EO, you time with 360 over N times 100 equivalent to RHC minus RFC. Okay, if you find this one is not same, which means in uh, in equal, uh, let, let's say this one is a 2%, this one is 2%, definitely it's an equal, so means CIA is exist. Okay, so if equal means CIA is not exist, it means why, why you should proceed with the decision if CIA not exist means uh, uh, exist the parity, yeah, the price is equivalent at anywhere okay so but if the CIA exists so the price is not equivalent so you need to proceed with the decision where you need to borrow and where you need to invest so the decision is 1 plus R H C equivalent to F1 EO 1 plus R F C 
So same one. 